Aloha Divine, how are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this spiritual transformational journey. My name is KB. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who is going through their spiritual awakening or unbeknownst to them, their life has been turned upside down. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about you being an outcast, a unicorn, a black sheep, the bad link. I wanted to talk about you being all of the opposites, the, the out of the norm. You don't fit into society. You don't belong. You've always been unique. You've never had tons of friends. There's a reason for that. You've always been not necessarily isolated, but had, you know, maybe one or two friends, or maybe you can count five on your hands. But you were always different. You weren't like what people deemed as normal and they are not normal society made them that way remember they were constructed that way they were programmed to be that way you went against the grains even as a child you knew the program existed you it did not phase you all of the mind controlling, you know, all of the things that our parents have taught us, all of the things that the government has taught our parents and our parents has taught us. And then when we go to school, school is teaching us at young ages, preschool, we're taught things. How to be, you know, how to be a girl, you wear pink and how to be a boy because you wear blue. Boys don't cry. And little bitty babies, people teach boys not to cry asinine it's stupid girls are supposed to have barbies boys are supposed to have cars this is how you talk to a girl this is how you talk to a boy raise your hand before you go to the bathroom you have to have permission to do anything in this world and it started from the programming when we went to school more indoctrinations you learn 50% of everything you will ever know in your lifetime from the ages zero to six. But you, most of those programs did not stick with you. I remember in school for me, because I am, my brain is different. And in school, I refused. I didn't know why. I refused to do cursive. Till this day, I cannot write in cursive. Because I refused. It was a language. It was a handwriting that I was not familiar with. And I did not want to learn it. I refused to learn it. So forever when we were taught cursive, I just never did it. Never did it. That was me going against what the societal norms. You did the same thing. You came into this world knowing the programs that were running and you decided to go against the social norms. You decided pink was just a fucking color and boys could wear pink. You decided that boys play with trucks, but I can too because I like playing with trucks. Because I'm a girl doesn't mean that I don't play with trucks. I love playing with trucks. So I'm going to play with trucks. And I'm not going to be the typical yes person. I'm not going to ask for permission to go to the fucking bathroom. This is what our society was gearing us up to be. It's like we were, what is it called? Dysfunctional slaves, but free slaves. We were free slaves. Everything in society taught you to be a slave, but you did not. You were not inside of that program because you were not able to be programmable. 
not like that. You still have programs, right? But they weren't able to program you 100%. This is why you are different. This is why most of you are star seeds. You were never meant to go with the program. That the programs are not normal. You are normal. There's very few of us here on this planet that are normal. When we came down, the whole goal was to indoctrinate us to become slaves. And you went against it. There's programs, you know, you can look back on your life and you knew shit wasn't right. You knew religion wasn't right. You knew questioning God, if you questioned God, you got popped or you got in trouble. You questioned religion, something wasn't right. Or you questioned authority because they told you things that you did not want to do. You knew something wasn't right. And then the people, the followers inside of high school and, and even in college, the sororities and, and the popular groups, that shit is not right. Those individuals are mind controlled and programmed to do stupid shit like that. They are the sheep that will always be sheep. I never wanted to. It was pretty to see the sorority sisters, the deltas and AKAs, but I knew that wasn't my shit. I love, I love dressing. I love looking cute. You, I damn will, you know, right. Put on some stilettos, lip gloss, earrings, the bomb ass, this, but I'm not going to be a part of that group because you don't define me. You guys are leaders. No one can define you. You were never meant to be inside of those programs where the sheep are. You're the black sheep. You're the outcast because you came to earth to set the record straight. You came to earth to blow up all of this bullshit that's going on inside of these social norms, inside of these fucked up societies. You came to blow it up and set the record straight and show people how to be your authentic self because you're not from here. The humans are from here, but you're not. You're not. And we'll talk about that in another video. But know that you are different and you are meant to be a leader and set the rules by the beat of your own drum. The rules, there are really none, you know what I'm saying? But for right now, inside of this effed up world, you set the rules. You show these sleepy people how to be authentic. You show them how you were always feeling a certain kind of way when you were a baby, knowing that things were not right, knowing that you didn't want to be in this world really until you got programmed. No but starseed wants to truly be here. They do not want to be here. They know that this is different and know that this world is fucked up the moment they come to earth. But then they get programmed right away. And it starts from cutting the umbilical cord and slapping the baby on the bum is the start of indoctrination. The start in cutting you off from your spiritual connection. That's the start. Cutting you off from your galactic connection. Now you know that you've always been feeling different. There's nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with the world because all of them are the slaves, the have and have nots, the keeping up with the Joneses, the ones that need to look a certain kind of way, the ones that need to play this game. Those are controlled individuals and you set yourself apart from them and you show them how authentic you are, and the way that it should be done because new earth is going to be full of you. This is why we start practicing being authentic, showing these sleepy people, waking them up and showing them the right way to go is the right way of their authentic soul. It's not about all of these programs that they've been indoctrinated to do. Some of these humans are going to go down with that ship, but a lot of these humans want to be taught the right way. 
and you're here to teach them and show them the way. Show them how to be authentic. Show them how to be unique. It's not about not, not following the leader. Show them how to be a leader. Eventually, they're going to want to follow you. But eventually, you're going to want to let them go. All good leaders produce leaders. All right, you guys take care.